Hey guys, Brooke Walker here. We are five and a half weeks out from Olympia, which is completely and utterly crazy for me to say because I feel like we were just starting this video series weeks ago and here we are. It's like the home stretch now. So I'm actually fortunate enough that I will be leaving Conway, Arkansas to finish out my prep in, in Florida. So my coach is there and we plan to kind of like seal the deal, just kind of go into that full home stretch mode, tunnel vision, and he's gonna take over. And I'm really excited about that. I've never had that opportunity to have a coach completely peak me. So I'm looking forward to it. This has been by far my absolute best off season to date. If you guys have been tracking my journey, I've posted a few transformation photos of how I kind of looked at this point last year for the Olympia in, comp in comparison to what I look like now. And I'm just, I'm so completely and utterly proud of myself. Obviously, there's so much more work left to do. Five and a half weeks is not a lot of time. So obviously, I won't be able to put on a tremendous amount of muscle tissue in that time frame. So we're gonna kind of buckle down on it in terms of conditioning and try to bring in the most conditioned Brooke Walker you guys have ever seen. So obviously, I think you guys are well aware that you will see the most muscular Brooke Walker you've ever seen before. Now I need to make sure I get sh completely shredded. Obviously, when it comes to the women's physique division, I will always tell people, I feel like I want to make sure that I keep the women's physique division in a physique standpoint that I love and I value and a physique that I'm gonna be proud to represent. So there, there's things and lines and boundaries that I'm not willing to cross. You know, I obviously wanna be at my best, but you know, I want to bring a physique that I'm gonna be proud to hold on stage. And at this given moment, I'm very, very proud of the physique that we're bringing. This is gonna be one of our last workouts in Conway, Arkansas, and we're gonna make it count. Melissa and Lexi are here today, and they've been such a blessing throughout this journey because each week, you know, each week gets harder. You know, I get in my head some days, some days I feel really, really great, and like I'm on point, and then other days I'm like, well, I probably should pull out of the Olympia, I'm not ready. You know, I need a whole nother year of off season. That's why it's great to have an army of support behind you, a great coach, because those are the people that they see you and they can tell you, hey, you're on track, you got this, they can help you, they can help motivate you and inspire you on those days that you're really not feeling your greatest. Obviously, your workouts start to kind of hinder, your strength starts to kind of go downhill and that starts to freak you out a bit. So you just gotta kind of, Stay focused, don't get in your head a bit. And if you don't have a coach, like I've told you guys, have a coach, right? Because they are going to help you. You'll look back at your progress photos whenever you're full-fledged contest prep and you're getting ready to step on stage. And at that given moment, you might think, oh, I'm not lean enough, I'm not big enough, I'm not hard enough, or whatever the case may be. And then weeks after the fact, when you have uh, you know, some more carbs, you're not carb depleted, and your brain's not as foggy, you're gonna look back at those photos and be like, you know what? I was at my best, I did look great. So it's good to have a coach there and they can kind of take charge in that regard and tell you, hey, you are full or hey, you are flat. We need to make these adjustments to make sure that you come in the way that we, that we want, right? I feel like we're on point and I'm so, so excited to get to Florida this weekend and start my training with Matt. He's been just a super, super awesome coach and I think, you know, the, the brook that we're gonna bring in December next month, which is crazy to say, is gonna be the best brook that you guys have ever seen. So I plan to be at my best in terms of my physique, obviously, my conditioning, my suit, my hair, my makeup, all the things. But today we have a special treat for you. Like I said, a few weeks ago, we did a boot camp based training style and we're gonna do that today as well. We're gonna kind of change up the exercises, but you know, at this point, I, like I said, I wanna focus on my conditioning. So we're not going super, super crazy on the weight by any means. Still challenging ourselves, obviously, but you know, I, got, I gotta stay, I gotta be smart. So I'm gonna push the limits, but also be level-minded or level-headed and make sure that I'm not hurting myself in the way because, you know, that would be terrible to have a season-ending injury right before the Olympia, right? We put too much work and endured way too much to get to this point and have to pull out. So. That's not what we're gonna do. We're keeping our motivation high, our energy high, and we are going to do a kick butt boot camp today. And I hope you guys are along for this one. Save it, try it out, let us know what you think.
she would do like down and then somebody flip back or all the way okay. down yeah so one person will flip it all the way down mm -hmm. one person will flip it all the way back and the person coming behind them yeah. will flip it back okay How about that? and then walking lunges and, and walking lunges yeah then so you can just do whoever's not going can do walking lunges down and back okay until it's their time to go again How okay about that? so like if you don't make it down and back you just go until it's your turn okay does that make sense yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have done added weight. <laughs> that was rough. That was rough. But we did it. Almost. Almost, Melissa. Really rough. 
coming. Yeah. Indeed. I actually blame you for this part. <laughs> it's actually blame you for this part. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> this part was your idea. Woo.